Back pain is a nightmare. Brightside is presenting you with a quick workout consisting of simple one-minute exercises that will work wonders for your back. Are you ready to try them out? Ah, come on, you can do it! There you go! Hey, it's not only good for your back. Exercising makes you healthier, more energized, and maybe even more self-confident. I know, it works for me. (laughs) And stretching exercises are good for relaxing muscle tension and making you more flexible. Exercise number one. Lie on your back with your arms spread out to the sides and your knees bent. Yeah, just like that. Now, move both your knees to one side while turning your head to the other. Keep in mind that your shoulders shouldn't move. Aha! Stay in this position for about 10 seconds, and then repeat the same thing for the other side. Come on, let's get to it. Our time starts now. This particular exercise is great for back pain because it strengthens and stretches the muscles of your back. Plus, bonus, it works your abs too. By the way, how are you doing over there? If you feel a little stretching in your lower back, don't worry. That's just a sign that you're doing the exercise right. Let's do it one more time. And well done! Now, are you ready for your next exercise? (laughs) No matter, here it comes! Exercise number 2. Lie on your back with your legs flat on the floor. Turn your hips to bring your right knee up and across your left side. Keep that left leg straight, though. Bring your knee up until you can touch your right foot on your left knee. Now, at the same time, turn your head to the right without moving your shoulders. Repeat the same thing with your left knee. I know it sounds really complicated. Left, right, what, where? But once you get the hang of it, it's really easy. Let's go! This exercise gives your back a good stretch while taking care of those abdominal muscles too. Just don't rush it. Do it at a pace that feels comfortable. Only 30 more seconds to go. Three, two, one. Nice! You're definitely ready for our next exercise. Exercise number three. Lie on your back and lift your legs about six inches off the floor. Put your hands behind your head. Ah, You're under arrest. (laughs) Just kidding. And lift your shoulders off the floor. Now, the next steps will all need to happen simultaneously. So listen up. Bring your right knee up. Turn your torso to the right and touch your right knee with your left elbow. Uh Uh-huh. Then return to the initial position and repeat the same thing for your left knee. All right, enough words, more action. One minute starts now. Try to do the exercise without stopping, lowering your legs or putting your shoulders back on the floor.
This is awesome for your back, and you'll definitely feel the burn in your abs. You're doing great! We're almost done! And rest. Exercise 4. The initial position for this exercise is kneeling on all fours. Get to know your inner feline, or canine if you're more of a dog person. This is called the dirty dog. Alright, uh, it's not, I just made that up. Okay, anyway, your hands should be directly beneath your shoulders and knees below your hips. Then simply dip your spine. Stay in this position for about 15 to 30 seconds, and then hunch your back for the next 15 to 30 seconds. Move slowly between these movements. And go! This exercise works wonders for your back, of course, and you might be seeing a pattern here. It's good for the abs, too. Again, like I mentioned earlier, a little stretch in your lower back means you're doing the exercise just right. And time's up. Exercise number 5. Just like with the previous exercise, get on all fours. This time though, bring your right knee towards your chest. Then kick that same leg out straight behind you while reaching your left arm out in front of you. Come back to the initial position and repeat the same thing with your left leg. You have one minute to try this out, better get to it! Hey, take your time on this one. If you hurry through it, the exercise won't be as effective. It's better to do it slowly but correctly. Do you already feel your back stretching? How about those abs? This stretch is perfect after a long day at work. Let's do it one more time. And that's it for this exercise. You're doing great! Let's see what the next stretch has in store for us. Exercise 6. Now, lie on your back, hands behind your head, knees bent, and feet flat on the floor. Inhale. Lift your shoulders and torso up off the floor and slowly exhale. <sighs> Remember not to lift your hips. They should be pressed against the ground. Stay in this position for about 5 seconds and then lower yourself back down. Nice and easy, right? Let's do it! This exercise is a must-have, not only for your back, but, can you guess it? For your abs, too! <laughs> if you do it regularly, you'll carve out the abs of your dreams and properly stretch your back. A little tension in your abdominals is totally fine. It means the exercise is working. No pain, no gain, right?
And stop. How are you feeling? Props to you for coming this far. And the final exercise awaits. Exercise 7. Lie down, bend your knees, and lift your legs up so that your knees are directly above your hips. Inhale, and bring your right knee up to your chest while straightening your left leg out. Hold this for about 5 seconds, and then go back to the initial position. Do the same thing with your left knee. That's not so bad now, is it? Are you ready? Time's a ticking. Again, don't rush. Try to feel your muscles stretching. This exercise is kind of like riding a bike, just without the circular movements, right? You're doing great! 30 seconds to go! Three, two, one. And that's the end of our workout. Congratulations, you made it! Did you manage to get your heart rate going? I definitely did. Remember to come back to this video and repeat this easy workout with us every day if you want to say goodbye to back pain and keep yourself in shape. So, what do you do to deal with back pain? Tell us in the comment section below.